Welcome, everybody. It's another NFC East show, and we're here. We got three of the four here. The other fourth is going to be showing up here very, very, very soon. But it's yeah, we got a lot to talk about, and we are on. We are on the Northeast Streaming Sports Network and uh, Zodiac TV. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, I mean, listen, I, I don't have it right in front of me. So, like, when I don't have it right in front of me, I got to guess a little bit. And thank God that, thank God that I guess right. Hey, it's all, you know, the fact that you did it by memory, you get an attaboy from me. I appreciate attaboy. that. I appreciate that. It's, it's actually hot here in Philadelphia. It was like 90 <laughs> degrees today, and I'm, like, burning up over here. But it's okay. It's okay because – we made the third, the third NFC East team cry this week. The third NFC East team cry. <laughs> we started out with the Cowboys crying because they didn't get their draft pick. We then made the Giants cry again. They, they, ain't, they ain't got enough Kleenex over there. And then we took a guy from the Washington football team. That's a good Kerrigan. Now, you know, a lot of um, – last night I was talking to a Washington fan, and he basically said, yeah, you got him at a steal. Well, no, I'm sorry. Well, basically, I, I don't want to paraphrase it, but I'm going to do, do it anyway. He basically overpaid for him. <laughs> uh, yeah, let me do Daniel Jones. We haven't Every paid day. him yet. You haven't paid him yet. Well, we that's because he yet. stinks. That's because he stinks out loud. <laughs> you know, you know, uh, you can say what you want, but as of right now, Daniel Jones has a better record than your starting quarterback. So uh, I mean, no, I, I no, wish no, I could no, say that on. right no, now. No, 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 no. Oh yes. No, no, yes. No, no, no. Oh yes. Oh yes. Let's oh, think yes. about that. So uh, over the long one. term, what's 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 the uh, what's the uh, what's he got? Like a a, a one sixty eight. Winning percentage? No, no, no. I'm talking about record. No, no. I'm that's talk- what I'm saying. I'm saying no, 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 no. What I'm saying, he has more wins. He has more uh, wins. Oh, 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 oh. So he's got more wins. He's played a yes. hundred more games, but he's only got more wins by like three. Because <laughs> you're, you're, he's, you're, he's you're your math is a little off. Wins. Your math is a little off. He's your math like is a little off. Wins, five wins and twenty six losses. But they, he's got more wins. You're right. He's got more wins because but, our guys only play four games. But that's okay. That's okay. You, and you know what Daniel Jones can actually say as well? He was never replaced by a third-string quarterback during a game. You know what else Daniel Jones could say? That he's, that, that he's a good quarterback. That's what he can't say. He says he, he can't say, say he's a good quarterback. Because he sucks. He could say you know that. what he would be. You know what he is. He is the guy who would play Eli Manning in the Peyton Manning story. That's what he would be. He would be the guy. Um, at least he would. At least he would. Hold on a sec. Hold on. Got to fix this. There we go. And and gentlemen, oh, up and down. You and True Blue. Say what? Oh yeah, me and Troll on. Yep, yep. I gotta. There we go. That's a lot of where we're supposed to be. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> welcome, Keith. Welcome. What's up, Keith? welcome. Good to see What's you. Going on, Keith? Sorry, I'm late, guys. Uh, had a little technical difficulty. Oh, no worries. Hey, I, hey, listen. Hey, listen. The wife, whatever the wife wants, the wife gets. <laughs> Jamie read my mind. I can't believe it. <laughs> That's right. So I, I do want to give a um, quick shout out to my baby girl. Uh, she, um, Jamie, when when you called me today, we were on our way home from a celebratory dinner. She is now not only is she a senior in high school, graduating in in about thir- less than thirty days. Wow. Oh, I'm sorry. In like uh, next week. <laughs> Mama boss just brought to my yeah. I don't know where I was at the whole time. That's right. But, Mama boss knows you oh, just you just get to repeat it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and I just pay the bill. That's all I do. Uh, and and also she is not only a senior graduating next week, but also a certified <gasps> medical assistant. Congratulations, oh, 
Siana. Hi. Congratulations. Congratulations. A certified medical assistant and not even out of high school yet. That's yeah. something to be said. Right here. Right here. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. Hey, listen, I was going to ask if it was the one, if it was the one in the video where the where the, the where slap. the kid smacked the face. <laughs> where the kid smacked the face. That Instagram was video. Oh, yeah, that was her. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was, was yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that look, that look you saw was, I wish you would. <laughs> <laughs> that look, was, yeah, but yeah, yeah, she remembers. Yeah, now she remembers. Hey, hey, bring yeah. her on, bring her on for a second. Right, bring her on for here, a second. Well, I know, yes, you do. Come here, come here. All right, here you go. Congratulations to you. Congrats. I wish you the best of luck uh, with your graduation and everything. You know, like it's, it, it is so it is so awesome to watch yeah. the to watch our watch our young grow up into adults into yeah. adults. You know what I mean? So I can I can I can appreciate the pride that sneaky. You know, my buddy. Your dad, <laughs> you know, like he could say it in a lot of different ways. I love you and all that other stuff, but I can appreciate the love and, and the just the, you know, the, the, the pride that he has that you have being yeah. able to move forward here. Yeah, and I, and I wish you all of the happiness and and the the best of luck and everything Thank moving you. forward. Yep, Thank same you. here. Congratulations. Thank yeah. you. It was hard, but yeah, she she worked her butt off. She yeah. earned every little bit of it. Now go make me a sandwich, peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> make sure we got some crunchy peanut butter. And uh, no, I don't mean this. I'm just kidding. Baby. So I love you. The, <laughs> she's not the heir apparent of the Sneaky G show. I yes, thought. yes, yes, she is. Well. I got here late, so where is Jamie that he's not running the show here? So. <laughs> I, apologize. I apologize. <laughs> but I am uh, not at home. <laughs> All right. Enough said. He's, he's at an undisclosed location uh, right now, I guess you could say. You could say. And it's really loud. So, And it's not a bar. So go figure. <laughs> so I'm not going to get kicked out of this place tonight. <laughs> oh, damn. I know it's more fun if I do, though. I was excited. I, my wife said, Are you going to go? And I said, Well, I sh can. Um, Jamie could get arrested tonight, so I should probably show up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? There's there's always that possibility every night. That, live that or would... not. Live or not. Uh, hold on. Here we go. Uh, hey, Philly man. That's the first time I heard that. Philly man. Philly man. Uh, oh, this is Danny. This is this is Danny Banach. I, uh, I know Danny, and he's he's a you, follower of me. He's a okay. follower of the Philly sports guy, but he also follows Sneaky. And okay. he's asking me if Hertz is gonna have a better, have a better season than Danny Times. Yes. And not oh, record absolutely. because Giants have a hard record. Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. No. The Eagles have a better record than the Giants this year. Mark my words. Write it down. Okay. Take a picture. Okay. Okay. Record the video. It's, oh. It's, oh. Happening. it's already bookmarked, my friend. When, when do you, you guys play? When do we play? Yeah, when um, do you guys play each other? I think we... Week we, 12. Like I week think, 12. yeah. That's Late the first in season. Game? No, no, no. We, yeah, yeah. Let's, yeah. It's after right. our bye. It's wow. after your bye, but it's before our bye. So we play. We play the Cowboys week three. We do, we play the Giants week twelve. We play the Jets week thirteen. We then have a bye week, and then we play the rest of the NFC East. Yeah, we got yeah. the last game. Ethan says I'll be surprised Ethan, if the Eagles Ethan, win more than money, five Ethan? games. Do you want to bet some money, Ethan? <laughs> I'd be willing to bet you some money right now. Let's make uh, that happen. That's too funny. Let's make that happen. <laughs> um, okay, hold on, time out. Okay, listen, listen, Jamie, I got a question. Sorry, let, let's let's back up a little bit. How can you honestly say that Daniel, that I'm sorry, Kirk is going to have a better season than Dimes when I'm not sure if it was on this show or or maybe one of our conversations, which was broadcast. I mean, I don't know if we were. I think I'm sure we were live that uh, you you admitted that Hurts can't throw the football 
or no, I'm no, sorry, no, that hurts. I never admitted that. I but, absolutely did, never admitted that. Didn't you? Didn't you say that Hurts couldn't throw the ball or didn't have a strong enough arm? I did. Never admitted that. Never admitted that. I. So here's my thing. Now that we have an offensive line, he's going to be a lot better than Danny Dimes. Danny, pick six Daniel Jones is going to have a lot of them this year. Pick six <laughs> Daniel Jones. We're going to be running them back for touchdowns, baby, all season long. Yeah. True Blue, didn't, didn't, didn't Hurts throw a pick six in the game? Yeah. I, I can't remember. I, I just I can't remember if it, it, it was – it was against you guys, right? Yep. yep. Was it? Okay. Okay. I'm just, I'm just checking. That's okay. I'm just checking. That's okay. So did the pizza boy. The pizza boy <laughs> threw it at pick six. So that's okay. Uh, it's all right. It's okay. You know what? I, I don't mind. I don't mind. You know, you guys could talk about the past all you want. Hey, the Cowboys are used to talking about the past for a long oh, time. Now. You know what I mean? The Giants. Yeah. The Giants I mean, we're, we're we're talk about won this one game in the last five years against the Eagles, and they're so happy. I, I, they're I tell so you what, happy. This guy above me has never mentioned anything that he – and matter of fact, True Blue, I gave you a compliment <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> I gave you a compliment yesterday saying that um, I, I, I generalized all Cowboy fans, but I separated you. I said, except one Cowboy fan, <laughs> and I was giving you some love because you, my friend, are the ex uh, exception exception of the rule. I will say that. I appreciate. Uh, you know that. what? And I absolutely have to agree with that. I, yeah. Out of all the out of all the Cowboy fans I know, and I tell you what, I'm going to speak very specifically to a Cowboy fan that I know. There. Uh, he's he's a little he's under eighteen. He's about to graduate high school, and I tell you, he likes to, he likes to talk trash about the Eagles. But he, I tell you, you ain't even seen you ain't even seen a, a, a Super Bowl there, young K. All right, you and your Cowboys since you were born have stunk out loud. Have stunk out loud. All right, so I don't want to hear it there, young K. All right. I know my man next to me over here, over on this side of me right here, has at least seen some Super Bowls, and he can appreciate the NFL as a total thing. You don't have any appreciation, young K, and I'm letting you know right now, you're on notice. You're on notice. Your team ain't going to do it again this year. That's right, baby. Because that's, It's like Doritos. It's not your year again. Oh, yeah. I feel like we haven't got the full, full Philly sports guy in the show till just this minute. I'm going to say. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. We have not got the full. Well, close. Know, this is, we're, we're, about, we're about. Close. We're, yeah, we're, we're, I don't even think we're half. He's working. I don't, his even, way I don't even think we're half. He's working his way up. Um, yeah, a couple That's more right. beers. A couple more beers. Um, yeah. You know, <laughs> so, so, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go. You know, I've been looking at the schedule more and more, and it's been kind of getting on, you know, the whole NFC East playing towards the end of the season. That's got, you know, things going for me. And I'm saying, okay, the Giants are playing. Cowboys are playing. Eagles are playing. We're all playing in the last four games. I mean, we've got the Eagles week 18, Jamie. Is that week eighteen? You uh, uh, week three and week game? and week eighteen, not week yeah. not week nineteen. We go down to Washington for week nineteen. Yeah, so I think the NFC East this year is going to be tight, and, and the race is going to be tight. I, I say about week fourteen, it's it's going to be a free for all. Yeah, I, I will say for us, I, I can honestly see those last uh, four games being key. I mean, Not especially yet. three three out of the four is uh, 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 what you call it divisional games, and uh, you know, and, and the one non divisional. But uh, I think the last four, you know, I would like to think that uh, you know um, we would be the team to clinch early because you know there's always that one team in the NFC that clinches no, early. No and, are you, you know, kidding me? Are you kidding no, me? Not at all. Like I don't know if you heard. I said would like to say that we would uh, clinch early. Uh, that would, would like be, to. Right, right. I mean, that would be that would be key. But I think the way uh, they had the schedule set, like like Sneaky's, it's going to be from week fourteen on. That's going to be the race. Yeah, yeah. Within this division. 
nobody's running away here. You know, no. I, I'll tell you what. No. I, I wouldn't be shocked if every one of the, these teams has the voice of reason and maybe pessimism in this group. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if none of these teams reach the over under f- for projected for them. No, that's not true. Which Come means on. about the nine Eagles, wins. The Eagles win the have division. six and a half. The Eagles are six and a half over and under. I, I'm I mean, definitely I over. I'm definitely over. I can see them winning six games. No way. No way. I can see. You could see them winning, winning six games. Seven games. Could you also see them winning nine games? I could, but I don't think. I think it's more likely they'll win six. Who? Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Eagles to win. Just six or six nine. Half, I six could see them the either side, under. but I would lean towards six, and I would lean towards the the lower side of for of projections for every one of these teams. Everyone, right? Uh, I mean, I'm 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 seeing the over under of us is nine. That's what uh, I'm seeing. And they I showed us it was they... seven. I believe it was seven, uh, seven and a half. I think I saw. Okay. Okay. And I'm going on the overall. You know, I I don't work work. Who said we were going seven and a half? I think that's what I, I was checking some over unders today. Let me see if I can find okay. anything real quick. I know that the Eagles did not have did not have a game because you could bet all the games right now. They did not have one game until Washington in Week 15 that they were favored. Let's see what we got here. I'll just take NBC Sports. See what they got. Okay. <clears throat> I am curious. Cowboys, nine and a half. Under. Wait, wait, wait. With that defense? Nine and a half. Washington. Yeah, Dan Quinn's in there now. Washington eight. True blue, I hear you, but it's gonna take a time. It's gonna take time for the team to understand understand the scheme. I, I, I don't think I don't think it's gonna be as as what what Nolan did last year, he 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 just made everything complicated. And Quinn's already said he's going to come in here and simplify everything. I I think there's going to be a big turnaround. Plus, plus the meetings that are already happening. Plus, everyone being there in person for meetings. It's a huge. It's a huge. It's a huge shift. I think. I think nine wins well, in this division. I really do. What what do they have? The what do they have? The Giants. What are the Giants? Is are uh, seven. Seven and the I Eagles mean, are six I, and a half. I demand a recount. <laughs> the Eagles are six and a half. I demand a recount. That's bull. I did see one earlier that was seven and a half. Sneaky What's Washington show. at? Seven. Uh, I'm sorry, eight. Eight. Yeah. And I could see them under. Yeah, and see, we. It, the way that our schedule's setting up, I mean, we our first two games are road, Tampa and, and LA. And then we got the Eagles on Monday night. I mean, we've got two prime time games within the first three weeks, which I think is going to be huge. I, I when when training camp kicks off in Oxnard, I, that's going to be that's going to be my telltale sign. But you get some really good teams on the road too, right? Oh yeah, yeah, no, I agree. You know. I agree. I'm at the top teams in the league, right? I believe all the top teams in the league: Kansas City, Tampa yeah. Bay, yeah, yeah, uh, New England. They're not the top one of the top teams, at least at the moment. But who else? Somebody else I'm missing, I think, too. Giants. Well, <laughs> we'll leave them out. We got that. We got that. We'll leave them out. Yeah, because then, yeah, because then we get we get the three straight home games, and then we get New England, and then we get the bye week, and then we're back on them on the road. Makes it tough, you know. I oh, mean, yeah. Washington, Washington having to play a first game, play first play schedule with a seven and nine record from last year is yeah. not ideal, right? That's why I can see that team being under as well. It's yeah, gonna be tough be- for all of them. They'll beat up each other a little bit. Well, that that's what we do all. Yeah, that's what we do every year. So that's what we do yeah. every single year. And, and I think it's I, I think it's comical too. That when I confront Cowboy fans or even even Eagle fans, the first thing they say is, "When was the last time you won the division?" We're, 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 we're winning divisions. I, I thought we were down with winning rings. I mean, I don't I don't know about y'all. You yeah, know? you don't race. You don't race flags I mean, or, or uh, anything for re- winning divisions. No, I mean, <laughs> con- congratulations. You won a hat. <laughs> congratulations. 
Okay. I, uh, buy now, I get those when they're on sale, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's smart. Now, now, okay, I'm glad we brought this up. Let me ask you guys a question. And I don't know if I'm the only one that's heard this. So when the Giants won in 07, um, I'm, well, I'm sorry. No, actually, it was 2011. Uh, I, you know, I bought the NFC Championship hat when we beat the 49ers. And then um, I bought the uh, Super Bowl hat, you know, when we won the Super Bowl. And we were in Seattle, and I'm rocking it, wearing it with pride. You know, uh, of course, I get called the occasional bandwagon, you know, <laughs> fan, whatever. And I'm like, I earned my stripes. Uh, when you have a quarterback by the name of Dave Brown, you earn your stripes. <laughs> um, so long story short, uh, a gentleman came up to me. Um, he, was a, he said he was a 49ers fan. And he said when they won in 95, his grandfather told him the last Super Bowl they won that uh, enjoy it, but when the season starts, I don't want to see that hat ever again. So basically, no so what was said to me was when the next season starts, you don't bring it out ever again. You don't wear it again. You just you put it on the shelf. You remember the good times, and then you move on. Is is that something you guys heard as well? I'm back in the gear that I wore the, during the regular season. I've let, led up to those Super Bowls. You know, mm. I don't. I don't change. I'm very superstitious. I don't change up what I do from week to week ever. Yeah, and I don't okay. wear championship gear. It all sits in a closet over here. Yeah, I don't even have that much. Same, I very rarely buy a championship hat because I know I'm not going to wear it. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. The only reason I got uh, the only reason I got the hat was my wife bought it for me. Well, I'm not. Well, saying I mean, I don't have it. Yeah, I mean, I don't see. It. I mean, if if, if you know, the Giants, I mean, if the Giants footballs and stuff, that's all fine. Yeah. But you know what? My my game day gear is my Dame Geek game Dame Geek gear. It doesn't change. <laughs> I'm the same way. I um, I I uh, I wear a jersey. I as you say, I, I rarely wear jerseys. I, I don't think I wore a jersey on this show yet. And yeah. on my other on my other podcast, I don't. I rarely, I I rarely wear a jersey. Um, because it's game day. That's, I have them. I don't, wear. Wear, I don't wear them game day either, and I can't wear them on this show because they wouldn't fit the. Uh, <laughs> right, right, right. Well, I, I, I did just get me this new hat, the new hat that just came out this weekend. I thought that was an Astros hat, actually. No. So, no. What's the um? Why red star? I don't get it. What's the significance of the red star? The lion to us. I think I, I, I when I first saw it. When I first saw it, because of America's team, it's got the United States flag nah, in that. I thought they were about to go supernova. I thought it was. A, I thought it was a Captain America. <laughs> the guy that said, "Hey, we got your new hat in." I was like, "Okay, there we go." I'm hey, worried about what? Jamie. Is anybody else worried that Jamie just disappeared? By the way, oh, with, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, not, uh, not matter, matter of fact, let me go. Ahead. I don't. I'm not worried about him at all. <laughs> I, I just. I just hope that he stretched and he has some Red Bull and Gatorade. That's all I'm going to say about that. He. He oh, is. I'm, and, and, and Keith, I'm going to tell you right now because I. I rest assured, he is hell and not worried about us. Well, at I'm all. Sure I actually, when I when I saw his friend coming out in a bikini, I kind of did a silent countdown. Like, what oh, is that? What I mean? he, he's going to be gone. Oh, you got, true blue. I know you noticed it. What was yeah. it earlier? Just Wait, am I the only one? <laughs> yeah. I saw. Well, I mean, I, okay, I maybe mean before he disappeared. Maybe yeah. Well, like I said, I did a silent countdown. I'm like, he will be gone in twenty. I saw it. I didn't know it was and, a bikini. And then it said five, four, three, and then his picture came up, and <laughs> that'll be all, ladies and gentlemen. There that'll be go. all. That'll be and all. That's our, and that's our leader. God bless him. He, he's our leader. I thought oh, we were I all. Heard. I, I thought we were all leaders in our own well, way. Well, there you go. <laughs> Nominal. Nominal, of course. You know. Right. 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 Um. Well, since we're on this. Do you guys have a pregame meal? Truly, what you got? Me, me, medium, medium rare steak, ribeye with three over easy eggs. Ooh, <laughs> that's the only thing I eat game day. 
interesting enough, I do not. So one o'clock games, I do not eat before the games. I meet my boys at uh, a local watering hole that we've been going to for about 15 years. Okay. Okay. I have two very large pints of water before I start imbibing <laughs> beer. <laughs> and there's chicken wings and, you know, your normal football food that we eat during the day. And uh, right, right. my wife drives me home. There you go. I, I, for one, um, I got to give a shout out to the, uh, the Denver. The same exact stools at this place every week. I have to get there before they open. So we get the same corner of the bar. Oh, you got to. Yep. You got to. Yeah. And um, yes, it's a very, this bar has only been 10 years. We've been doing this for 20. Uh -huh. Nice. Uh -huh. So before that, there was season tickets. So. There was now, a. Now my wife won't let me spend money on season tickets. She says <laughs> she wants to retire. I don't understand, but that's fine. Right, right. Uh, who needs to retire, right? Um, so I got to give a shout out to the tavern out in uh, Denver, Colorado. Um, they had, hear me out, Denver, Colorado. There was a it was a giant uh, watch group at the time because that you know obviously now I'm in Texas, uh, and there's one in Texas. I'll, I'll get to that in a sec. Unlimited mimosas from 10 a.m. Nice to 2 p.m. Nice. I, and and the guy he doesn't he's need it or well, our, our waiter doesn't work there anymore. He would he would literally drop a picture, um, he, a full picture of mimosas and set it down right in front of me. <laughs> and I'm. It was like eleven dollars. That's a lot of champagne, buddy. Eleven dollars <laughs> to destroy my unlimited. To unlimited, unlimited. And then uh, my last Sunday there, before we made the, the the move, he put he gave me a picture before ten o'clock. Nice. And that was against the law. And I think I just admitted I committed a crime now in Colorado. In. Now, now, I, oh wait, now wait, I'm sorry. Now. Allegedly, he would allegedly, possibly, I can't recall. Maybe it could have been. I don't know for sure. Before ten o'clock, I got a picture, and then it. Oh yeah, it good times, good times. So good times. Eleven dollars you drank all day. But oh, I would split it with a friend of mine. Um, oh, when, so oh it was yeah. Well, well, we would rotate. We would rotate the cost every weekend. And if one of us was late, this is if one of us finished a picture before the other one, <laughs> we had to make it up. Oh my goodness! We had to make it oh, up. That's too much. That's too much mimosas. Yeah, <laughs> five, I'm so stuck on the five dollars and fifty cents you had to spend to drink. Yeah, all day. yeah. Oh. You can't, you know, you were trying to get us on Saturday night, and I told you I was out having a few. Uh, oh, a, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we, met a couple, we met a couple. My best friend, who I haven't been able to see in uh, 15 months because of the pandemic, we finally right. all got together. We're all there you vaccinated. Go. Everybody got together. Our bar bill before we sat down was 160 <laughs> and my wife drank iced tea, and his wife had a glass of wine. <laughs> we had, before we sat down, we spent one hundred and sixty dollars on margaritas. And you were make you were making up for lost time. I was really hoping to be on the air that night at ten nine o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just have to look at me two weeks ago. So, <laughs> oh my you god, were, you were holding up very well. I thought. Yeah, I started at what? 10 you started in the leaning here and there, but you were, you were all right. Um, uh, I got after the golf tournament you're talking about, right? Oh now. yeah. I gotta, I gotta bring in my, uh, my replacement real quick. Hold on, hold on. Oh, hey, don't bring him in that way next time. Yeah. yeah. There we go. That was disturbing. Yeah. <laughs> what, is that? what is that? A little Labrador? Uh, he is a uh, oh. American bully um, lab mix. Wow. Oh. Uh, eight weeks. He'll be eight weeks on Saturday. He's going to be huge, you know. Sweetie. Yes. Yeah. He, yeah. He is going to be something else. And I, I just want to point out the uh, the collar. Ah, uh, yeah. I saw I saw your vid on that. His little collar when you put it on him. I have cats, so <laughs> that's all I have now. I had the last dog I had. I had twenty, uh, almost. He was nineteen and a half years old. I had to put him down. Mm -hmm. But that was like twenty years ago. I won't get another dog. <laughs> I don't mind. All right. All right, buddy. 
Okay. He wants nothing to do with me right now. No. I haven't. He's like, you haven't seen me at all today. I'm like, hey, somebody got to work. <laughs> somebody got to buy your dog food. You're getting paid no. for this? Huh? Oh, well, no. I, I, no, not this. I wish. Let me know. I, I Actually, I heard you got a raise. You're making double he, what I'm making. I yeah, am. Dude. I am making double <laughs> what uh, you guys are making. Yes. Free, free, free. <laughs> free, free. Free, free, free. Free, free. So free. <laughs> So are you gonna make any road game sneaky? You know, um, I, that's that's still up in the air. Uh, I I actually want to make it out to MetLife uh, this year. Um, uh, uh, someone had mentioned that I have two tickets waiting for me. Just gotta let them know when I'm showing up, and I gotta reach out to uh, my buddy that, that that made that proclamation. And um, you know, we'll see. I, I definitely would love to make it out to MetLife. Uh, sometime this year, if not this year, next year for sure. Definitely next year for sure. Because I, you know, I, that's one thing. I'm a diehard Giants fan, but I, I, I have yet to uh, to make it out to to New York for a game. Uh, yeah, that's, really? that's, that's, that's <laughs> yeah, that's true facts. And I, I need to change that. Definitely need to change that. Yeah, last I was there was a black cat. That was the last time we were. Oh, really? You were that? <laughs> <laughs> that was an awesome game, though. I mean, I'll admit that. Yeah, we, we was that the the knee. Was that the knee in the back of the end zone? Yeah. Yeah. I got up and walked out the house. <laughs> yeah, Bailey. Or uh, I uh, Bailey. Uh, uh Beasley. Beasley. It was Beasley. I, I got up and I said, I don't, I don't want to talk to anybody. <laughs> it was, yeah, it, that was painful. That was painful. That was painful. Um, oh, I, I got to say, um, uh, Buffalo Joe was here in Dallas. Great Giants bar. Uh, there's also the One Love Lounge over in Arlington. Um uh, great food out there as well. So if you're a Giants fan, you're and you come out here on the tenth, you, you're definitely going to be uh, welcomed, at least by me. <laughs> uh, you, you'll be welcomed by me. So uh, I, I'll, I'll put that out there. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to True Blue. I'm trying to put a weekend together. Um, you know, uh, a meet and greet and some, you know, some kind of events or something. Um, there'll be more information to follow. So whatever I get, I'll pass it on to you. And if you can pass it on to your peeps and then, uh, well, you know, we'll see, but I, there's, a, there's some legwork I got to do now that I have dates, I just got to put stuff together and make it happen. Yeah, so, most definitely. Yeah. Oh, my other dog's hitting right here with me too. <laughs> yeah. When, when you guys, when you guys play us there and you're there, I mean, it'll be fun. Oh, it's going to be a blast! I, I'm really looking forward to, uh, to to finally meet. If I don't meet you sooner, yeah, you know, if you happen to come up on a Saturday before uh, game day, oh, bring your appetite! Bring oh, yeah. your appetite! Yeah, it, 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 the only thing I won't have any mimosas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You might change your mind. No, you'll be able to pull, be able to pull that Miller Lite tab. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, I had some. Oh, Miller Lite. Mm. Yes, sir. Back in when I was in the army, uh, I was a. I actually was a lifeguard for about six months. And um, hold on, my dog. There was a. There was a. Um, a bar, a, a typical cowboy bar. Not cowboy. Not Dallas cowboy. It's a cowboy. That kind of cowboy. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, cowboy kind of bar. And um, uh, 50 Cent Pitchers, like on Tuesday nights, Savannah, yep. Georgia. Good times. Good old Savannah. Good times. Oh, you yeah. find all the best places. I, I try. I try. Pitchers. Yeah. 50, all you can drink mimosas. Yeah. Uh, hey, Keith, I guarantee you hang out with me. My son and I will show you the best strip clubs. Um <laughs> We call them the ballet here in uh, New York. Oh, hold on. 
the ballet. The ballet. <laughs> the ballet. Yeah, uh, we call them. Uh, was it? Is it the cabernet? I think we call it the cab cabernet. We, we call it the concha haka ballet up here. The concha haka uh, ballet. Back. Uh, yeah, but not for only only for a minute. I I just wanted to apologize and say that I apologize that I'm not on the show tonight. Yeah, there, there's a lot of stuff going on here, so I I didn't want to I didn't want to be. He's going right funny back or weird. to it. I know, I know, but you guys were talking about the Koch Hockey Ballet, or at least the ballet, and I uh, like the way I know it, and that that's what I can talk about. So it's it's right up my alley. Oh, that's but, too funny. So if you listen, just in case anybody wanted to know, I still think the Eagles will win this division. I hadn't really got that impression from you. No. Of course, of course, everybody says no. Uh, week three, week three, when we beat the Cowboys on Monday Night Football down in Dallas, yeah, the hmm. word will be out. I don't know what word that'll be, but uh, anyway, about that, <laughs> about about that Sunday before, are, are we gonna we got to meet up that Sunday? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Triple, you coming up? That uh, I'll be, I'll be there. I'll be there. All right, I'm going to set yeah, something up for yes. three. The three of us, the three of us should get together and collaborate on that Sunday beforehand. Oh yeah, yeah. It's Monday night football. It's a smackdown of the Cowboys by the Philadelphia Eagles. Oh yeah. On ESPN. <laughs> Bring your record to Where one. Where like to put okay. the most handsome guy on? So let me let me let me ask you a question. Hold on, time out. So true blue. What was the final score the last time the Eagles came into Dallas? The la the, uh, last last year, the, the, the final score. What oh, was the final? Oh. Score? <laughs> it was a good one. We're uh, it was a doozy. Uh, I mean, do, do you want me to do you want me to say it? I mean, would you know? Remember the? <laughs> do you remember the the final score? I don't I don't remember. Oh, I I remember, but you know what? Hold on, hold on. What was the? Know. In scores of all of the games over the last seven years against the Giants. The past doesn't matter. <laughs> right. Thank you, Keith. Thank you. The past doesn't matter. Of course, the past doesn't matter. You can talk about the past all you want because you guys won the last game. But the the last nine before that, you guys lost. You, you, you want me to tell you, you want me to tell you a good story story? Here, here's a good story. The good thing, like Jamie and I, we, we, we have good football games. We The thing is, we see stuff that other fans don't see on the field. We know the plays that are going to happen. We were talking to each other, telling us the plays that were going to go down and the catches that were going to be made and the players who were going to do them before the ball was even snapped. That's <laughs> that's pretty and crazy. It sucks, if you're sitting it, sucks next to us. Right. it sucks when I'm right. And it's against why, my team. Why didn't Jamie tell the coaching staff what was going to happen? That's oh, he was I yelling was. it. He was yelling it. <laughs> oh, I was. Oh, I was. You got to cover this guy. You got to cover this guy. What's going on here? He was. He was. I'm going to admit that. Uh, that one play, I said, look, here goes C.D. Lamb. He's got the open coverage. You might want to tell somebody. And he yelled it out. Cover that guy. <laughs> I, but but you could see it. You could see it dead dead oh, as plain as day plain as that it was day. going to happen, and it happened. Yep. Yeah. I hate it when I'm smarter than the coaching staff because they get paid <laughs> a lot more money than I do to be a fan. And when when that happens, that makes me very very angry. It's bad news. Very for the very angry. Up, yeah. and, and he's already turned green. <laughs> L literally, literally, literally. literally. Uh, I you were, you were talking about the game. I was I wanted to go to the Raider Cowboy game the, on Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Day. Those tickets are way out of uh, out of uh, my budget. I've, I mean, been telling, I've, been telling, I've been telling everybody, don't even look at the ticket prices right now. Don't even do that. Don't 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 give yourself heartburn. Wait till the actual season opens up. Everything will come down tremendously. So okay. don't everybody, even look at everybody is gouging right now because. Yeah. You know, it's like it's like gas prices when you don't have any gas. You know, no. it's like everything's really expensive. They we have not we're not used to being at football games right now. Yeah, so. tickets haven't even been passed out to season ticket holders who who sell them. So don't even look at them. <laughs> That's true. That is so true. 
Well, they'll be holding. They'll be holding a bag uh, when the seat. No, the stadiums are full in September. Those guys with all those tickets are going to be holding the bag. Yeah. Although for the first week in Atlanta, I, their, their tickets are still like eighteen dollars because they still can't sell out. <laughs> oh, that is a beautiful stadium, though. I don't know if you. I have agree. Been. I agree. The last time I was there, Trotter got kicked out before the game started even so yeah i remember that yeah there was antics started right there while they were warming up i'm That's really football. <laughs> I, I, I really want to see the new uh the viking stadium ah uh, you, hey, oh, you know what i love that stadium because that's where we won a super bowl <laughs> what was it oh, okay it, it was the super bowl won by any team in the nfc east that was right. That's right. Right. The last Super Bowl oh, won by the NFC East. Right. By any and, team in the NFC East. Right. 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 In Minnesota's was one in Minnesota Stadium. Right. 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 That one time. That one time, y'all won that one That's Super Bowl. Right. That's right. Uh, right. One time right. in band camp when you guys right. when you guys won in 2012. In 2012. That one like, time. World was about one, to end. That one time. Right? That one time y'all won that one Super Bowl. That's right. I remember. Yeah, you got to play Minnesota. Are you crying still? Yeah. Are you crying still? Are you using no. the Cowboys, the Cowboys toilet paper to wipe your tears yeah. away? I, I, are you actually, crying because you didn't make the playoffs? Actually, and you, didn't I'm just, your, your, you didn't get your. I, I'm just back. helping you. I'm you helping you celebrate that game. That game. I, I, gonna, I am. Game speak for itself. We're I am. Talk- uh, I am. Oh, I, I forgot. I got the mute capability today. I, I, I got the mute. I thought I got, did it before, actually. I got the power right now. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that to you, Jamie. Yes, I am going to do that to you right now. That one time y'all won the Super Bowl. You know, you know I appreciate but- that. <laughs> <laughs> And I swear to God, I'm like, man, I wish I could mute him. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. There is there is a funny story about that stadium, though, Sneaky. What's up? So, so we played when we played uh, up there uh, Thursday night football, not last year, in 17. We had to play them up there, and I'm sitting down there near the end zone on the front row. First thing I do is, is – take one step and I notice that the floor moves and then I stomp on it again. Lo and behold, they're like bleachers. They're just like old high school bleachers. They push them in and out, in and out. So I start pounding on the floor when the Vikings are on offense and I start making noise. And of course, all the Cowboys fans follow security comes up to me and says, you can't do that in the stadium. (laughs) I said, well, you shouldn't have made these seats out of wood. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 too blue. Hold on. I'm <laughs> I, I think that's the difference between you and I. Because if security comes up to me and says, Sir, you can't do that, <laughs> my my natural question would be, why? Oh, oh I, I, no. I want to do it. I want to do it more. Oh, well, exactly. I, and, I mean, am I going to break the floor that I'm stomping on? I mean, is that, you know. It, uh, it, 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 it's just like high school bleachers. The louder you stomp, the louder it gets. You know, it's funny you guys have talked this much about Minnesota's home stadium because the fact that they play in a dome is, to me, the epitome of what's wrong with the NFL today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too old, right? Again, I'm too old. I'm waiting to watch a Bud Grant over there in a freaking. Uh, Right, a windbreaker it, with a ten right. below zero. I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind it so much if it just didn't rain. You know. <laughs> yeah, but these guys are such wusses. We got to play every game in perfect freaking conditions. That's not football necessarily. I uh, I actually remember. I think it was the last time Minnesota played outside while the stadium was being constructed. Oh, University was, of Minnesota. Yeah, he was. He was out there. Buck he Grant. was out there. Yes, he was like a hundred and seven years old. <laughs> um, he made it to another game, and same thing. Windbreaker. I mean, it had the same look. Didn't I mean the ice? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little of um, football. I'm gonna I'm gonna say what is it? Um, Lord Lord of um, God dang it! 
what's that HBO show? Uh, the Viking show. The um... Vikings. Vikings. No, oh, 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 oh. I know what you're talking about. Um, the, uh, oh, oh my god. god! Wow. <laughs> I don't know. I don't watch it. You want to talk about a brain fart? That's unbelievable. Hey, the, 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 you're the, used to that being a Giants fan. But, well, hey, I mean, I mean, do we really? I mean, do we really want to talk about Philly? Do, I mean, is, is it uh, all you got? All you got is that one picture of poop. All right, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> of and course, of it's... course, on command, on command. Like I said, that's all he's got. That's all he's got because the Giants stink out loud. They stink out loud, and that's all they got is this one picture. This one picture right here. That's one picture. Uh, Jamie, that's all you need. <laughs> I mean, I'm just gonna, that's all you. That's all you. That, I mean, that's all you really. Uh, uh, to help you out, it's Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. There we go. There yeah. Go. I still can't believe I, it took me 15 minutes, and I saw like the last. But I, I think Bud Graham is the true uh, Ice King. So he's in that. He's in that show, definitely. <laughs> oh but yeah, he's the one that got stabbed and then went into ice. I mean, I, I am completely convinced. Or they, they, they modeled that character right after him because he, he did not age. He looked the same, and I still remember when Coughlin, um, was out there at Green Bay. Oh. Oh my in, in 2007, with the red cheeks. Well, yes, yes. I thought his face was gonna crack and fall. I off. love, I loved watching Coughlin with the red face. He had it so many times against the Eagles, like especially, especially after a couple of punts, a couple of punts kicked off to Brian Westbrook, <laughs> to Brian Westbrook, and then to Sean Jackson. Anyway, like I was saying in the NFC Championship game in 2007, were both great punts. Great, great punts. Uh, that was the miracle of the Meadowlands two and three. <laughs> to this day, to this day, my friend uh, told me that I even called it. I said, Favre will give us one. And that was Brett Favre's last pass intercepted by Webster to set up the field goal into one of our three Super Bowls. He might you know what? I remember, I remember a bunch of interceptions made by like uh who was that tight end? Who's that tight end for the Giants? <laughs> oh, he dropped a pass. He dropped a pass that saved you. What made you have to sing a song, right, Sneaky? He made you have to sneak a song. Did you sing that song? I tell you what, because next week I got the I got the button. I got the button. Do you want to hear the song? Do you want to hear the song? Because I'm going to make everybody hear the song. Hey, as long as you show the original and not I'm the one. Show, not, not, show not the original. original. Show no, no, my no. original. No. Not your original. You my need original. The, you need to show the original. Mine's more important. <laughs> you need to show the original. <laughs> not, 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 not the copy. The original. Hey, wait listen, a minute, guys, wait. I, I would love I'd love to keep staying here. I, I gotta I have to get rolling here. I apologize. So I I, I love you guys. I miss you guys. I miss you guys a lot. I'm sorry I wasn't be able to be able to be part of the show here tonight. Uh but we're definitely gonna do it again. Oh, next you were part of the bus, show. We were gonna get the bus sneaky's balls all show <laughs> long. Because I got the button. Because I got the button. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, yeah. <laughs> Good night, guys. Later, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hello. But anyway, about the 2007 NFC championship. No, I'm kidding. I'm just. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> well, see, back, back to what Keith was saying about the outside. The, the, the cold weather doesn't – it's the rain. It's the yeah. rain that just – But you know what? Football, was made, to be, football was made to be played in the elements. And I just mm -hmm. hate these sterile environments today. There's too many. There's too many. I hate the fact that, you know, teams in the East go play in the South and the West in uh, – in December, and then they don't bring those enough of those teams east. You know, I, don't well, know. I mean, you We're still have, the, yeah, but you, you still have the games. You know, at Lambeau Field and at yeah, you know, at Soldier Stadium. I mean, um, for now, 
Yeah. For now, no, everybody's we're looking to build it. Everybody wants an indoor stadium. Everybody. Well, Chicago's not getting one anytime soon. And you know the oh, Packers ain't going to do either. Bay, but yeah. Neither, hey. neither, neither is Gillette Stadium. Yeah, Gillette Stadium. I mean, I was so good. happy when the Giants uh, and the Jets didn't put a dome in that stadium in the, in the East. I mean, it's not. Yeah. And they put a play the Super Bowl there, and it worked out fine. I got uh, like Miami did. You know? Miami, Miami played. What? Miami, what they did with their stadium, they just put the stuff over to cover the rain. Right. Yeah, keep, over the, yeah, over the, over the fans. Yeah. Yeah, That's I, don't, right. I, don't, I like that. Yeah, I just don't have, a problem. I don't have a problem with any of the way. I'm gonna tell you, the last horror, the, the Patriots, when we played the Patriots in 19 and I was up there, 34 degrees rained the whole game before the game. As soon as the whistle blew, the rain stopped. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you, man. I gotta tell you, that's the stadium you wanted to be back in back in the day before they built this beautiful stadium they play in now and it was old Schaefer Stadium and Sullivan Stadium. Metal bleachers, you're talking about metal uh, stands. Yeah. At least you had seats, right? Or no. Yeah. These were bleachers all the way around. Wind would blow in there. There'd only be 20,000 people in the place. <laughs> You've never been in a place so cold in all your life. Uh, I, I have. <laughs> so, uh, I, I've only been in three stadiums um, in, my, in my young life, I will say. Um, and I, and I say that facetiously, um, I was at, uh, at the, now they call it the Luna. It was, it was the century link up in Seattle, which to this day, I got to give Seattle props and love. If your if, if the Cowboys are there, if the, the football team is there or if the giants, you got to be the visiting team in Seattle. The experience there is, is second to none. It's loud, I, right? It's loud. Um, the Seattle fans, they're very respectful. They're very respect. You don't think it's that loud? No. You, don't, you don't think it's that loud? I, I think they pump noise in. Oh, no. I, I don't I, think so. I've been, there, I've been there enough, and I'm telling uh -huh. you, with my, mus my musical background, yeah. I can tell where the acoustics are coming from. It may not be much. But well, I mean, so I know it's between uh, Seattle and Kansas City, and it's I mean, it is deafening. It, it, in, it is, Seattle. it is, and, it is wrong. It is and then wrong. when I when I was in uh, Colorado, I was at Mile High, and of course, here at ATT, I actually like a you know, uh, an indoor stadium. <laughs> I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest yeah. <laughs> because I mean, I'm, like, I'm always the old guy <laughs> yelling at the kids to get off my lawn on a show. I was gonna yeah. say that. Well, I got to say, because when, when when we walked in the stadium, so the first year we went, they had it open. Last year, they had it closed. Um, and when, we, you know, it was hot, you know, going in. And th when we walked in, when that AC hit us, I was like, oh, this is nice. <laughs> I was like, I can't, I can't hear this, Jerry. <laughs> yeah, I'll pay that extra five bucks on our bill, on our, on our ticket. Yeah. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Yeah, the the, I mean, I gotta I, I gotta do SoFi Stadium week two when we play the Chargers. There. Oh I, yes, that new yes. stadium. I'll be there for that. But I mean, I don't I don't mind the outside. Chicago last or two years ago was cold. It was thirty degrees. New England was cold. I don't mind oh. the cold. Yeah, I don't I don't mind the cold. It's just one of those things. It's, if it rains. Yeah. That's a different story. Even when it's hot, it rains. Our, know, FK, our, 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 what is that? FedEx Stadium. When it, it rains there a lot. Carolina, it rains a lot. When um, you know, when I was in the United States Army, I, I was. I mean, you know, they they mentally train you to be tough. And and for the most part, you know, when you're on a road march, digging foxholes, doing you know field training <laughs> exercise for thirty days, you're good. But the moment I'm wet and cold, oh, I want to go home. <laughs> I'm, I'm done. I'm telling you, that, that New done. England game, I was miserable. I was miserable. What is it? I was miserable, miserable there a lot of days, too, in the 70s. Yeah, what do you guys do when that happens? What do you guys, I mean. You just got to sit there and take it. That's why I want it. That's why. That, that's actually why. Bundle, I, you bundle up. You drink a little of your little uh, flask. and uh, 
See, that's actually why we, I, I have the cape that I wear the cape on is so if it's interchangeable, so it turns into a rain jacket. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. that's smart. So I can wear either one, the cloth one or the rain jacket one. Yeah, luckily for us, the second game, Seattle game we went to, it did rain pretty bad. And I had a, I did have a Giants jacket that was uh, waterproof. It was uh, reversible. Yeah. And so I was, I was okay with that. Um, Listen, for you Texas guys, I know it's a football uh, show, but I guess got to tell you, Corey Kluber is pitching another beauty against the Rangers tonight. Oh, what's the score? Two nothing. Okay. He's pitched, he's pitched great the last four times, though. Oh my gosh. I um. In case Did he I, play with the Rangers? Did he play with it? Well, I mean, when he played like one game last year for the Rangers, I think. But so who, the yeah, that's the the, the Yankees, correct? Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So um, no, I want to I want to mention this, and I know this is a football show. Um, so I've you know, I've been a, a Mets and a Yankees fan because of Daryl Strawberry and uh, Gooden. Uh. Last night I'm, I made it uh, official. I'm gonna well with the Yankees. Oh, welcome aboard. I'm gonna I'm gonna cheer on the Yankees. I know, and I mentioned that at work today. Oh, the backlash! Oh, I loved every minute of it. I loved every minute of it. Oh, are they? Are they, are they, are they all Astros fans or? Um, Rangers. No, they were Rangers. Rangers. Fans. Rangers. Were, well, actually, one was a Red Sox. Oh, and you're in your where you're in your Arlington right here. Uh, well, my, my office is in uh, Dallas. My okay. office is actually in Dallas, yeah. And I, actually, one was a, a Rangers, I want to say, and the other one was a uh, Red Sox uh, fan. So he said, well, what's the starting eight or the starting nine? I'm like, I just I just, uh, I just declared my allegiance <laughs> yesterday. How am I going to get a pop quiz right now? Like, can I, just, just can, I buy, can I buy a vowel? Just shoot me a text. I gave you the little crib note. She'll be all set. Deal. All right. <laughs> Noted. 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 No. No, I, I am ready for this season to kick off, though, in May. Or in May. Mm. In June, May. Mini camp. I'm a, mini camp's going on right now with the rookies. So I'm Rookie camp, yeah, right now. Yeah, I'm appreciative of that. Big story, Joe Judge. Uh, Joe Judge was happy about something. He was going uh, – uh, I want to find the name here. Uh, sneaky. He was really going crazy over some kid. Let me hold on a second. Let me see if I can find his name. I, I, I want to say it was Ross, if I'm not mistaken, the running back. Uh, no, I think it was some uh, – I think it was a defensive lineman, I think. Where did oh, I think. Uh, was it the cornerback? Uh What's the status of your running back, Saquon? Sneaky. Um, you know what? I know there. I know his return is questionable for Week One. They're just taking precaution. He's going to play Week One. There is no doubt. There is no doubt about it. Um, but uh, we are down at the two-minute mark. Um. Yeah, I just want to let y'all know. So we're we're getting close to. Uh, I'm, I'm, I keep watching my video of Zeke. He's working out. He's going hard. He he's looking good. My man, he is. Zeke is looking good. I'm telling you, he's going to come back with a vengeance. Yeah, Giants find a little more uh, depth in the backfield this week, though. From uh, they, they did. Yep, yep. And then we signed uh, Calvin Benjamin. Although he's going to play tight end. Kelvin, um, yeah, he's gonna play tight end. Kelvin Benjamin, really? He's I gonna play know. tight end. Yeah. Um, now, many, many are saying that he might not make the fifty-three man roster, but I'm like, hey, in life, all, what do you want? Is an opportunity, and yeah. that's what he got is an opportunity. And I, you know, I'm okay with that. He had a couple of great years in Carolina. He did. He did, and he won a national championship in, in, in yeah. Florida State. So, um, he knows what it takes to, you know, to be on top of his game. Um. <clears throat> Any final thoughts, guys, before we end out? No, I just, I'm just waiting to see what's going to be coming up in this next week out of minicamp, okay. out of rookie minicamp. Okay. Got to fast forward to July. I don't want to let the summer to go away, but we need to get I know. football, football, <laughs> right? I know. Otherwise, I know. otherwise, it's all going to be Jamie's uh, uh, antics out with whatever uh, <laughs> nice young lady he's with. Right. Wait. What's that? What did they? What did they say in RoboCop? I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Nine o'clock. Hey, guys. Great show.
Thanks for everybody watching us. And, um, you know, let's go Giants. Oh, he ain't here to stop me this time. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have a good night. All right, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>